Howdy folks, we're back here with what I think is the last of this, the first season of the Walking Dead Telltale series. I am working on a video to analyze uh, as a whole the moral decisions that you're presented with throughout this game but as I've been working on it I'm repeatedly reminded that there is a DLC for this game and I knew I wanted to play it before I finished the video and it just felt weird to work on the, the script and content of that video without having played it so we're gonna play it today so that I don't have to be bothered by those thoughts anymore with that having been said, let's hop in. I don't know anything about this DLC, except that I guess it's a side story to the main one that has been focused on for this season with Lee and Clementine. Huh. Looks better without the zombies, I think. Hey, the American flag is being flown right side up. It's uh, pretty tattered, but at least it's not backwards. Unlike in every frame that I can recall seeing one in Baki. That child looks like an old man. That that child was the baby of the uh the guy with the glasses and office space who listens to his radio too loud. Okay, so I have to pick someone, I guess. Um, let's do Vince. Damn it, I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. Uh, I don't even I don't even know you're Oh. That's one way to introduce a character. I guess I didn't get away. <laughs> Unlucky. Come on, man. You know, as far as uh, 
Think it'll clear up My soon? peace of mind is Wait concerned. Minute, traffic man. This might be a little bit better. Supposed to have been a dependent hour ago. I'm gonna get rid. I would have felt well, like. Relax. It's not your fault. I would have felt silly if I. You're gonna be this annoying for had, the next two hours. If, if, if ditching the gun there meant that I wouldn't have a gun when the zombies were around, I would have been. What the hell, man? Feels bad, what? Man. You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince! Justin's gonna make me! It's too hot for this shit. Vince! I'm making him hot now! Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. <laughs> I knew it! I got that Latin heat you can't resist. Come here, boy. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. <laughs> hey, Justin. See that right, guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I'll bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, is it? How many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she? Oh. 15. Damn it, it ain't like that. Like You're that. telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. I'm just not, I just don't want to get involved in this. Work, guys. I ain't afraid to say it. I'm really this. missing my girlfriend right now. I'm, I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Kind of sounds like she's just not your girlfriend. Oh man. I want to, but you know. <laughs> Am I, I going to be her, NPC man? Andy Danny, this whole chapter? I know you don't this realize this because chapter? you... you? This whole well, you story? probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from white collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up. I thought you back took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Or I'll you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's, that's a mortal kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. Enough said, man. <laughs> you know, funny thing? <laughs> I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, a, a pyramid scheme. Aren't those kind of shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Good shit is still shit. This was some pretty elegant shit. How'd you live with yourself? Easy. I didn't think about it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. Bruh. God damn, boy. Oh, oh. when we get out of here, so you, whack. me, and Vince, we gotta go into business. Know what I'm saying? I, you know, I don't think so. I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids. You touch a couple kids, Vince. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? you? Fuck me. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, man. What the hell is going on? Grab right tree, knock it off! Okay. Yeah. Hey, get in there, what man! You got? What Sit you down, goddammit! That's right. You got nothing, motherfucker! I'm chilling, Damn dude. Crab tree! Don't make me come that. back! He's gonna kill him, Vince! What am I supposed to do about it? Fuck that! We gotta get in there! I'm chained here, the remember? You, Danny. I knew you didn't have any balls. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? You can't do anything with these damn chains on! Shit. Crab tree. Yeah, remember you, we're in a prison bus, we're chained to the floor? There, that Break whole that thing, on, uh, the whole on, reason boy, we're here? Okay, asshole, let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy! Crab tree? Last what warning! You for? I said let him go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Damn. Answer me back! That guy's still alive. First day on the job. Get those cuffs off him, man!
the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He made a move, or you don't know. Which one? He's still breathing. He's uh. Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Don't, don't call it in yet. Just, just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. Why, you ain't wait, got a minute. Why don't you check Shut his up, pulse? You hear me? This isn't Shut the first time mouth. I've wondered why someone wouldn't check someone else's pulse. Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really why, want to pull that trigger again, why you, son? Why are you standing up? Thanks, man. This is so weird. What the fuck? That's also pretty weird. Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. We're not man. going anywhere. Fuck that. Why not? Get this bus moving. Hey, driver, I said let's go, we're man. We're staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna... Holy shit! Jesus! This guy was a dumbass to oh his very God. last breath. Hey! Hey! You need to call someone! You hear me? We need to... Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus! Good grief. What the hell, man? Back up, back up! Fuck. Why would you fuck, leave... Fuck. The bus has gasoline, right? Why wouldn't you... He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get. This is so Shit. weird. You gonna help out here, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! I'm trying to think. You better think fast, man. Any ideas? Yeah, I got an idea. Why don't you do something, asshole? Where's the guard's gun? How yeah. many times yeah, do we Good need to go thinking, over Justin. this? We're chained Where the fuck to is the it? floor. We need to do something about that on. before we do it's anything underneath. else. Oh, fuck me. Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! What? What? Does it really... Can't... Okay. I'm having a lot of trouble. Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. I we also cannot believe this. Here. The chain runs through that loop that's welded to the floor. No chance of busting that. Nothing. What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Um. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? You need to shoot that guy. He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, hey, don't. Hey, buddy! What um. the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck in. you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. One of them is already here. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Like, I want to shoot. I want to shoot. Shoot him again, man! I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Point. Take out the windows! Come on! Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! It shouldn't work. But... How the hell are we gonna get out of here? There's gotta be a way! Can't we just... shoot off the chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cup? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out! Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's Well, throat? what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! 
Vince! What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You ain't gonna do it. I know you ain't. You're gonna do me and not this rapist fuck? Come on! You know I'm a good guy, man. You think I'm an asshole, but um, I'm not supposed to be here. I never did anything to you. You're gonna leave me and not this lying shithead? Okay. I don't care what you did. Okay, so it seems like I'm being asked to choose between shooting off the foot of one of them and the other. Uh... Which is kind of a tough choice to make, I guess. Hmm. I think it's better to shoot the pyramid scheme guy because he seems like a sociopath and he's more likely to abandon me later. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun. We gotta do this. Back off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry. No, 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 you can't! Thanks. Oh! 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 Shit! Oh, Still attached. Oh, Again! Oh, Do it! Oh! 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 oh let's go! Let's go! Oh! Oh! oh. I guess I don't get the choice of trying to help him. Yikes, dude. <laughs> that was... That was something. Alright, let's do Reddit Big Lebowski next. How many Funko Pops do you think this guy has? God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us or Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Gives a shit. Every Just... Marvel Funko Pop, including the Incredible Hulk. Hurry up, Betty! Here, man, shoot! Get him, man! Jesus, man, Jesus! Uh, is this wise? God, this is so fucked up. I don't, I don't want to shoot. This fucking fucked up. Uh, I like ah. holding the gun, but uh. I don't really think it would help us for me to shoot them right now. I might, I guess. Looks like I don't have a choice. Bro! Off. 
Milpy Cafe, did you know that look on me, man. the Hulk Funko Pop is bigger an than the rest? I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows! Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. We're gonna At hit, least uh, slow down. Someone. What? Something. Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in gorked. my life, Wyatt. Is that a word? Someone look at that up on Urban Dictionary. Is that a word? What if there's something in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. Was the straightness of the road at issue? You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. It was a play on when words. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? Oh, right. Forgot there was more than one reason. Did See if there's just... still any sticky in the glove okay. box. For a second I thought he peed his pants. Foggy. Oh my god, what? Shut up. <laughs> Remember when TJ got high and tried to put a pancake in the CD player? No. <laughs> he doesn't remember you guys. How could he forget about that? Gork, the slang term to describe the state Quiet. of being Come high on, Check the glove box. or drugged up to the point where one is incapable of basic thoughts and functions, sometimes used between staff Quiet. members in hospitals. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? And she told me that she was five, I think. Her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while. Saw the chick with two heads. Saw a dude with lobster hands. Some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face. I don't know. She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple. But I called bullshit on that one. Point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? I am, actually. The guy peed on her dad. Shit! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. I guess having Did your you lights on doesn't help if you're not paying I think attention at all. that was a guy. All. Wyatt, come on, man. Say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man! It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. You heard me, Eddie. Same. I feel the same way. Let's see if there's anything around. I the wish they wouldn't swear so much. You know much. anything that'll like tell us one way or the other? That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Come on, dude. Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? Rot. Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. What's that way out in the road? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. 
man. I'm really not seeing anything. Do they have... Stop messing around. <laughs> need to know what's going on, okay? Do That's they have any okay, reason okay. to be so cagey Look, about just leaving quiet. the car and looking? It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. If you were Jesus. looking, if you are paying enough so attention to tell what do you mean, what that do we it was do? a guy, go out there. why weren't you paying enough attention to break? <laughs> go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Wyatt, come on, man. If we can do it over a girl, we can do it over this. You fuck. Wyatt? You Rochambeau over a girl? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Man. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. I'm gonna throw a rock Fuck. every time. What are the chances of that? Okay. One, One out two, of three. three. Go. Shit. What are the Stupid chances rock. of that? All right, dude. This is it. This is where Milfy comes in the chat. He's like, actually, there two, are a whole bunch of psychological three, texts that involved in rock paper scissors. Balls. Balls, balls, balls! Okay. You and your damn rock. Looks like it's me. Uh, if I won, shouldn't I be allowed to choose? Shit. Alright. That's a good choice. Back in the car. No fucking way, man. What if it was you? Eddie! You see something? Do you see anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Eddie! What's happening? Hurry up, of man. Of course, it's gotta be Dude, run. Leave me the fuck alone, all right? This as is a, my speed. As a side tournament at Smash Here. to prepare for 20XX. When everyone is a Fox one trick. Go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Dying. <laughs> Shit, where the hell did they go? It's the smallest hoopty in the world. Uh... Just leave them the ignition. Oh. Shit! Ah! Drive, drive, drive. Uh, I didn't mean to leave Eddie behind. I literally did not choose to do that. I just wanted... I just wanted to get the car moving so I wouldn't be flat-footed against somebody with a Glock. Is that unreasonable, man? 
All right, let's do. You think you think shell is the is the, the caked or the caker? I think you're right. I I think it's the caker. It's a gitter. It's a gitter chillin. Wait. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know everything else yeah growing up in a world like this what do you think that does to a kid she's already changing she dismisses things she cares about so easily I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much but I still worry Beck is a good kid these are shit times and she's gonna go through that but if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen. Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe. That's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you told <laughs> us. She doesn't want to hear about Guitar? it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's Guitar's get back to work. Guitar's kind of a tough one for the apocalypse, isn't it? Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay. I let's feel get like in to terms it. of sustainability. You want to help are... me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. Options I'll look that would be preferable. Guns. Since if your strings break, who knows if you'll ever find it. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush I on the flashlights. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out I was back. saying cool too. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. I try not to do that in real life or in games, but uh... Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Our list? Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie yeah, found the place. Synthesizers. Could be anything these days though. Still, better not to think about synthesizers it. Synthesizers are risky. Unless you, like, if you know a lot about them, I feel like it could be a good option. I don't know long how it take how long it takes for batteries to go bad if they're being unused, like if they're packaged. Uh, but the thing about an electronic instrument is that if it ever breaks, there might be nobody in the world who knows how to fix it. And that would be rough. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. I'm getting to it. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? 
Oh yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. <laughs> Imagine not using your gun. Lee, probably. I feel like that's gonna be a thing in every every episode with every main character. But I'm I'd be happy to be proven wrong about that. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Huh? I guess you could. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. If they've never been used, I think it, you can presume that they work, though. They come pre-inspected. And don't need to be this inspected. This hasn't worked in a long time. Unless they're used, typically. They do need to be replaced eventually, but... Smells good. I remember when I was in high school, Next when they were talking to us about fire I safety, to to look for light bulbs too. they were like, please don't use the fire extinguisher unless you feel like you have to because we're not allowed to have partially full fire extinguishers. Anytime one is used, it has to be it serviced by a professional. Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. A garden, huh? Been here for a while then. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Oh, you scared me! He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. Do they have to be fed? Disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. I'm also What's curious to learn. I don't know. I'll check why it they out. have I gotta get back uh, out pet front. zombies. Looking forward to that soup. Wow, what a jerk. Should I ask if anybody knows the lore on this? Because I sure don't. Oh, God. <sighs> Why? What is it eating? It looks like a bloody teddy bear. But surely it's not meant to be that. Yeah, that makes more sense. That it would be a puppy. You know, I'm kind of surprised that they need to eat. Um, I'm just trying to go over there, man. It's always <laughs> oh, Jesus, you don't ever fucking do that again. Rascal. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just you can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But what if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I <sighs> look, I I just saw our walkers out back 
eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. You know, I really don't feel like I, her claim. Then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and, and now it's gone. That sucks. Like it is legitimately Maybe dangerous for her to, to, her, for her to jump scare instead. people. He'd make a better she could literally drink. die doing that. Becca. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. What? How do you know it's bad if you don't know what it is? Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It's so care we did. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. And send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You don't know that. It does make sense, though. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart, not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time, and the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Okay, I need to go off for a second. So many times. I don't actually know how many. Too many, though. Uh, very often uh, in these games there have been situations where we are I keep being asked to make decisions about somebody somebody's life uh, as though it were urgent even though it is not we could literally just leave him be for a little bit try to learn more about him talk about this calmly rationally or in an orderly manner like adults and not stand around with him in the parking lot holding guns and acting like there's some like enemy at the gates that requires us our immediate action to it's just like when we were like when in the with Lee and the stolen supplies that, the, that Ben was leaving for the bandits, they were like, okay, we're going to have this conversation about hypothetically killing somebody or like ousting somebody or whatever for leaving medicine for bandits uh, right here on the side of the road while zombies are closing in on us and not wait until we're safe and can actually have a conversation about it. 
Like, that is so crazy. And this is similar to that. But the the urgency is, is different. Like, there's no urgency here. We don't even need to talk about this right now. Uh, like, why can't we just leave him alone for a second? Uh, I mean, I guess I don't technically know that I'm going to be compelled to make a decision about this right now. But I bet. I bet I am. Okay, uh, I just needed to, I just needed to, you know, do that. Roman's right. It's got to be one or the other. I also don't believe that. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't! He's not even armed! We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us, that isn't the same thing. He didn't thing. even come here time. to hurt us. That was a long time ago. We like, do we, we know anything man, about him? Then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. Like, if you employ you paranoid thinking here. It's easy to think that four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. Killing him I don't know if you will somehow protect us. I'm saying, but you better understand. But that this. same kind of thinking this close could lead you to today. believe and if you that ever, killing him would ever harm us. Come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are. You wish you had died today. Like maybe somebody knows that he came here. And if he doesn't come back, they'll come here for revenge. Like, do I know that that's the case? No. Do I have any reason to think that that's the case? No. But I also don't have any reason to think that letting him go would cause us harm. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. What? Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time... Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Why do you think we're here? Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, it's not dangerous to, to go outside alone. It's like, why do, you, why do you think we're all here together? What's going it, it on? Is... Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a There sack, are limits to the stupidity we can tolerate from a child. Important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. How come no one's watering these? Uh, you could do it. I bet everyone who walked past them who noticed them also wondered why no one was watering them. 
And yet no one did it. You're part of the problem. <laughs> I've gotten a little agitated, I think. Just a little bit. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine inside. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? No. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. He's and I he's need wrong, to know by that the you're way. With us, a hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew. That I do mean want the to talk to her. Any one of us. We give her a second chance. She might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? Uh, not to talk sense into her, but to try to understand it's in the camper. why she you made minutes. the choice that she did. Your head together. It might oh be God, useful to I know that. That's up to you. Whatever you say, but I'll back you up. He is wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna harp on this for a second. I was talking about this with Milby recently. He's, I mean, to be fair, it's it's not merely hindsight bias for him to say that letting that guy go was the wrong decision. Uh, because he was against letting him go to begin with. So uh, the outcome of letting him go biasing his perception of that choice uh is not necessarily at issue but he is wrong like clearly like speaking as the player clearly the game was trying to signal to me that uh killing him was safer and killing him uh killing him was safer and killing him was the less moral option uh from an abstract perspective but that letting him go was risky um and i believe that the characters who claimed to believe that did believe it but it's not actually evident from the situation that we were in that that was the case and i don't know the details of what happened after we let him go but the fact that there was a negative outcome from that doesn't change what information we had to work with when we were making that decision. The information that we had at that time did not justify killing him. Shell, what's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? 
Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Yeah, I also want to know. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Do characters ever recognize that with a simple... Drawer. I didn't know. In my experience, they don't recognize that. Uh, the most notable example that occurs to me is when we crushed... Uh, when we crushed Fat Man's head with a cinder block. As Germa would have wanted. Uh, it was... The dialogue from the characters after that implied that they believed that he was still alive when they did that. But I didn't. Like, that's another... <laughs> What if they never gave us the option to check his pulse? I'm pretty sure his heart was stopped though and he was not breathing. Uh, but the characters talked about that as though it were obvious that he was still alive and that it was a cowardly, if safe, decision to crush his head with a cinder block. And, uh,. I, I don't know where they got that information, but I didn't have it when I made that choice. And I feel like there have been many choices that are that way. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. Uh, the real reason that I want to second. do it is because I want to ask her why she did suck. this. I probably won't get the chance that to does. do that. But uh, if I give her the gun, then I think my chances you will know, be we lower. We don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have what? a choice. This is who we are now. Shell. Time. Well, I'm not gonna drive away. I agree that she deserves to die for what she did. I don't ever want to put you in danger. <laughs> if that means this is what we have to become, I just want to know why she did it. It is what it, it is. It seems so crazy. But that's also part of why I don't want to drive away from this situation. I'm sorry. Me too. I guess I don't get to find out why. Okay. Let's go, college boy. What you got? You know... One thing that does occur to me is that, so this, uh, this whole series is based on a comic, right? I almost want to look into that, that because it's kind of interesting. As a rule, I don't really like zombie stories. 
but the world that the author has painted for The Walking Dead is peculiarly... It's a peculiar admixture of pessimism and optimism. Or, or maybe it's not quite optimism. Like, one of the things that I've noticed uh, about this post-apocalypse is that nobody seems to be practicing slavery. And I think that they would practice slavery. <laughs> I think I think that people would start doing slavery pretty quickly again uh if the uh if society civilization fell apart. I think uh I think we would see the the potential for barbarity uh rear its ugly head. And I haven't just, I haven't seen a lot of that in this. Let's uh, see what College Boy is all about. I've got like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. Shouldn't have maybe taken so many cans. Ugh, 63 miles to go. Ah, oh, I missed the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? Bruh. <laughs> he's green. <laughs> Are you getting... Oh, I see what he's... He's, he's saying, like, is he a zombie? Okay, that... No, that's fair. I should probably hurry. He... I mean, if he was, he wouldn't answer, but... Shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Yo, is that... Uh, what's-her-face? That's what's-her-face that got, uh, murdered for no reason. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't... What's I your swear. Name? I swear. I wasn't... I wasn't smooching the, the dead body. I swear. Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? It's mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. You just said you didn't care if I, if I steal things. You're gonna get eaten out but here whatever. otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Okay. Yeah. I'd like a ride. That'd be good. Thanks. Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she like the party? Bruh. Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Yo. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for is, asking. Is this the pickup truck from the, from, from the uh, other episode where they were shooting? Oh, he's drinking. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right. All right. That all stuff's right. bad for you, man. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Can you tail back where you come from? Hand. Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. 
You're arguing semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. All right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my See, shit I up. See, I think that... I can make for grand and try to find my family. In an apocalypse world, it'd be like that. I couldn't live but, like that. But, uh... Only so got for the adult the men. No, they And then didn't. the women and children would, would, would be enslaved. <laughs> because that's how it was tell me something in the before it. times, in the, the long, long ago. Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Alright, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was run, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. This guy's messed up. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Help! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. Ten, okay? Ten, you psycho! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Why wasn't that your first, your first instinct? Why was you your first that? instinct to Go use the, the gun? Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Or keep being a pussy. I. Right. Oh shit! Go! Get! <sighs> Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it! Just run! I'll keep his fucking head down! It seems like an important detail. Boy, you're gonna make me run out of cover before you... before you do anything? What is happening? Good hustle. What happened to- I'll cover you! Look how good you did! Alright, what are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Come on, just a peek. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. I actually All right. got his face yeah. out there. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Do you... 
You can okay. cover me first. Now we're talking. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just this shoot the, the only window way. and keep that fucker's this head This is the only way to be sure that there's bullets in the gun. Throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Throw yeah. you the gun? You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you. Should be good. Go. I really that, that sound effect is really really messing with me. Thanks. We're not done yet. It sounds like the, the sound effect Let's see if we can that, get in of like the back. Sneak bullets up. not hitting me as I run sound like they're hitting something Follow me. made of meat. And it's messing with me a little bit. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? Come on. Watch out for that. What's the problem? We should put it out of its misery. It's fucking dead. Come on. Feel like a big man now? Let's go. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be Sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. Uh, there was... okay. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. You're gone. Is that Vernon? Fucking move! No. Walt! Ow! Oh. Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here. Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook. Whoa! Watch the fucking okay. racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone Bullshit. else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Ah! Why? 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 All right. Look at 
at all this shit. See? Worth dodging some bullets? What the? Relax. You're my boy, Russell. Things are gonna be a okay. <laughs> this dude's a psychopath. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Bonnie is all that's left. Holy moly. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? That is a kind of interesting question. Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign. Well, Yo. I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one, then. Okay. How about... If yeah, you can't control the snake tongue, then really you won't be able to speak. Stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot so less fun. So I think fun. that... You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I like am. Like, if you're not crippled well, sure more by being better. unable to speak than being able, unable to admit anything is do, improved. like, fine motor movements, then wrong. your life sucks. What I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Thanks, jerk. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. Nah. Make sure you keep on keeping on. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. Yo, I'm am I a recovering meth head? You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. <laughs> Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're like together, like I'll this. be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. Um, you know although, that, right? I don't like it when they look at me like that. In real life. What are you saying? Bonnie, uh, Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. Oh, he's married. <laughs> I found us something. I'm the side hoe. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Oh, I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we gotta get moving. So, where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. What? Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but the D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, Dee. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? 
Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one Hush, who stopped. Hush, your voice is down. Come but you now. are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn rain, in this goddamn middle of nowhere you place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you are still religious after My what we've faith been ain't through. something I wear like a fucking sweater. Don't just take it off when it gets uncomfortable. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're Darling! D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. It's always later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Claims she wants to get somewhere to change her clothes. Oh, isn't shit. walking. A cliff? Bro. Well, that could have gone better. Not letting me call out if you see him. Where the hell are they? Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Okay, so I can move on the other axis and not just straight. Cool. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Please. Please, not the rebar. I just had a Tomb Raider flashback. Please don't okay, get impaled on rebar. Stay calm. Find a way. I will give you $5 to not get impaled on rebar. Oh, can I use the rebar? Uh. Oh, cool. Oh, that's the game over, huh? Okay, I guess I, I have to use the rebar. Fair enough. That's why I didn't oh, want to use the rebar. D, I'm so sorry. 
Oh, God! Why? I'm really not much of a swing first, you, ask questions later kind of why? guy. Do, do, do I love you? How bad is it? Why didn't you say anything? You, you should have said something. But, uh, apparently... You, she you was, did this. She was going to kill me if I didn't do you that for me. some reason. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should never trusted you. Just so I think we can agree that this is a BS choice. Junkie. Right? Leland. I seen how you look at him. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't that's a good, that's a really you. great question, Stress. Why was she using a flashlight? Oh, damn you. D, I would never, I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. Junkie. Right out. It can't be far. D. D, did you find her? Bonnie, I, I thought they'd got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? D. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling. What happened to you? I had to. I, I thought you would... What? what do you mean? What was that you just said? It really was an accident. You really... did this? You did this to my D? She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Leland. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, I no, feel sick. Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. I think I saw something over here. She's gonna die for this thing. I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. What am I supposed to feel? Right, there are survivors out here. Still alive. I I They're literally to get killed her in self-defense. There was no choice. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Hello. I didn't get that. The radio must have cut out. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. so good i'm gonna try to talk to him you know what just occurred to me i've yeah, yet luck. to see anyone use Don't a white flag you got it hey don't you bitch 
Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout. I wouldn't have reached in my north. pocket like that. Go out and look for survivors uh, while to I have a gun drawn on we me. We have food, just saying. clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. It's already so in a few after minutes, dark. I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Shell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were gonna defend it. No, fuck this. She's crazy. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. Uh, he trusted that psychopath. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? <laughs> I mean, why did we even such leave a the photos man. there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? He wants us? to be indoors. Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've he all craves, seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't being we? Surrounded by Relatively walls. speaking. You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. Oh my here. gosh. The choice is yours. He so, uses his goon cave. who wants to come with me? I don't, I don't know if I'm if I'm comfortable voicing such evil but I did it yeah I have to I'm I'm just not sure we've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's your choice. Again, I'm not trying to force you or convince you. As long as you're willing to obey the rules and pull your weight, you're welcome to come. But you've got to decide now. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? You don't. You you don't get to know. You don't know if it'll work out. You don't know that it won't work out. You don't know. You like. 
You can't know. You don't get to. <laughs> Seventy percent of players shot off the foot of the pyramid scheme guy. Democracy has ruled that it's worse it's worse to do a pyramid scheme than it is to be convicted of rape. So Yeah, it looks like most of them decided to stay at the camp for some reason. I don't know how to feel about it because it's not at all clear to me. what connection their choice had to the choices that they made in their individual storylines. Uh, and like, for Vince, I don't see how it could have any relationship to the choices he made. Like, the only meaningful choice that I can recall making as Vince was the choice to shoot off that dude's foot uh, and uh, like what would shooting off the other dude's foot imply about his disposition that's any different I don't know the uh With Chell, what's her name? The short haired girl. Uh, I don't. It's also kind of obscure to me since. I feel like the choice to leave in the RV would have been the choice, the more like antisocial choice. Uh, like, you can think what you want about the choice to, to kill someone, but to do so if the other choice is to just leave implies a commitment to the community and making the community work, which... You know, maybe that didn't work out, but we only know what they showed us. Um, and with the dude, the crazy dude, like, fair enough, that had to have gone wrong. I don't blame him for not trusting people. Like, it had to go off the rails at some point. It would have been more interesting if they'd showed us. I mean, I don't know that it would have been more interesting if they'd showed us uh, where they eventually fell out or whatever but uh it was inevitable yeah i don't know uh maybe maybe i'll look it up on the wiki later maybe i'll learn something from that but this should hopefully be all the yeah i mean as far as the games are concerned. This should be sufficient to the video that I'm working on. So, you know, I've never, I don't have any experience making video essays, so who knows how long that's going to take. But, uh, I'll let y'all know. when it comes out, I suppose, when, uh, when I'm done with it. 
I'll probably be talking with you about it in the meantime anyway, so expect to get updates. Uh, in the meantime, thank you all for watching. We're gonna call it here. I hope you take good care of yourselves, and when next we meet you are in rude health. <laughs>